Hello, and welcome to another episode of P Girl Twenties Bit Life series. This is number one hundred and fifty-six, and this is the Spooktober challenge. You'll be gobbling up the treat from this challenge in no time. Once you get past your our uh, trick. So, I was born a female in Montreal, Canada. I was conceived after my parents fornicated while walking through a cemetery. What? <laughs> my birthday is January 2nd. I'm a Capricorn. My name is Evangeline Evans. My mother is Sarah Evans, a hairdresser aged 26. My father is Malcolm Evans. A receptionist, age 24. I have an older brother named James, age 1. We have a family mongrel named Honey. <coughs> Nothing worthy of note happened at a year old or a year and a half. After playing all morning, your father says you need to drink something and asks what sounds good. A glass of milk. <coughs> I'll try to stay calm. Your parents just had a baby boy named Etienne. Your new brother, Etienne Evans. You and your brother James are squabbling about whose turn it is to use a computer. Just apologise. And I'll admit I broke it. Your parents are taking you out for dinner and are asking which fast food restaurant is your favourite. Ah, uh, Pizza Hut, ah, uh, Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut, McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a bit life. Your parents just had a baby boy named Jake, your new brother, Jake Evans. You and your big brother, James, are bickering about how he teaches you about waiting the bed. I'm now starting at Mama Primary School. Now, just out of interest, I am going to go and see who's running that joint. Mr. Brown. Oh, that's a shame. Your classmate Abdul Latif has just rigged up your teacher Mrs. Strabbles' smart board so that Cannibal Corpse videos will start playing as soon as she tries to use it. Oh, I've to the principal about him. You are being teased at school by your classmate Taylor for having a lisp. Tell my big brother. Your parents want to take you and your brothers on a budget family vacation to Banff. Right before a test, you see your classmate Abdul Latif steal your teacher Mrs. Williams' answer key and pass it around the classroom for everyone to take a look. Ow! Your mutt honey just ate the food off your plate. While well, you were not looking. Do nothing. You're out trick-or-treating with some friends when suddenly a kid dressed as a policeman quickly approaches, you, approaches, grabs your bag of candy and runs off. You and your little brother Etienne are bickering about whose turn it is to feed the dog. Uh, don't argue. Your parents just had a baby boy named Chester, your new brother. Chester Evans. Well, I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. And, uh... Oh. Yeah, look at that. You can't choose to spend time with everyone in your family all at once. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a boy from your class named Arthur King Love. Oh! Your classmate Arthur keeps staring at you in class. 
You're thinking about asking him out. It's time to go to your first school dance. You're attracted to a boy in your class named Arthur King Love. Three rejections in a row. What? No, hang on. Your family mate Honey died at the age of 12. She passed from complications due to old age. Having... After living a great doggone life. Your classmate Arthur tells you that he is going to fail your English teacher, Mrs. Gortier's class. Unless you let him cheat off of you on the upcoming exam. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to help him study. You are being bullied at school by your classmate Lara for having a funny accent. Lara Kane, screw you. Tell my big brother. Yes, I'll start a YouTube account. Your classmate Violet wants to become your friend. I will tell my mother. I am now starting at Giza Secondary School. Drama club, that's for me. On Halloween, three of your classmates invite you to hang out with them. They take you into the woods where they set up a ritual and ask if you want to join their coven of witches. They tell you if you accept, you can pass the first spell and ask for anything you want. Yeah. Oh, this again. Story of my real fucking life. Your classmate Mia wants you to skip class with her to go to a concert instead. I won't do that. Ow! Your teacher partnered you with your classmate Malcolm for a project and you're clicking pretty well. You're thinking about asking him out. You and your little brother Etienne are quarrelling about who should have the bigger room. You graduated from secondary school. Alright, I'm going to go into history. Some tough love. Okay, I guess I've got no choice but to take out a loner studentness. Your best friend Violet has tickets to a periphery concert and invites you to go with her. Parents are divorced. Your best friend Violet is asking you if you think she should invest in cryptocurrency. I want to suck your blood. As you walk past the public library on Halloween, a gaunt-looking man wearing a tuxedo and a black cape emerges from the back of a white van and tells you he's running a blood drive and you look like the perfect candidate to make a donation this year. Your mother has married your new stepfather, Kai Morrison, a 51-year-old jeweller. They went to Mecca for their honeymoon. Oh, he's very kind and he has quite a bit of money. I will call him Dad. Your best friend, Violet, just called you to ask for advice about how to deal with some challenging workplace drama that she is experiencing. Give her good advice. Oh, um, I can get into uh, graduate school with that, so I'll just go straight down the middle and get a student loan again. A guy named Robert asks you if he can have your number because he lost his. Robert Love. No, don't. 
Your father has married your new stepmother, Melanie Murphy, a 19-year-old travel agent. And I have a one-year-old stepsister. She's not very kind and doesn't have much money. I'll call her sis because she's not that much, old, that much younger than me. You completed graduate school. Time for a job then. And show me the job that I would want. Oh, come on. Why? I'm qualified in history. You and some friends decide to make a haunted gingerbread house on Halloween, with each person decorating a room based on their favourite spooky character. You're, design you're assigned to the you're assigned the attic to decorate however you want. Pennywise, politely decline, and I've been let go. Right, need a new job. Let's see if I can get this visit. Oh, fuck you then. Come on. Oh, come on. Even though I've got a university degree. And I've graduated from grad school. Oh, for sake. Why do they keep letting me go? I'm not going to be able to make any money at all if I can't stay in a job. Oh, fuck you then. Give her the sugar. George's Harris. Okay, but don't propose to me straight away because I don't have the money. See, healthcare in Canada's free. Half it off. Delete the account. Wasn't really doing anything with it in the game. I didn't do anything. You're joking. I got accused of a crime and got sent down anyway. You witness an overly aggressive group of prison guards torturing an obnoxious inmate. Oh, well, that's none of my business. As long as it's not me they're torturing. Ignore. 
Big respect, man. from me while relaxing in a recreational area a one tooth crackhead randomly comes up to you and bites on your butt Ugh. doctor please well unless I can get out for good behavior I won't be able to do anything for him. You are second to last in the cafeteria line, and there is only one tray left between the enormous inmate behind you who claims the tray is hers. Act sick and leave. Keep it. I did nothing to break the law. During your time in prison, you've observed a lot of prisoners come in decent and sober and leave as hardened drug addicts. Okay, so challenge the broken system, do nothing, or encourage new inmates to stay clean. Well, she's in there through no fault of her own. Yeah. There you go. Let's hope I don't end up back in there. fifties it's not likely I'm gonna be able to conceive. Forward it to my friends. Yeah, tickle. A stomach. I tickled her. That's not a soul. <sighs> How is that a soul if you only tickle them? A bit sensitive, aren't they? done that. It's three times in prison now. Refuse. Ow! Yeah, because I wanted to get out of there. I didn't want more time added to it. gonna want me now like I've been in prison twice now Oh, 
more tricks, no treats. Boxes of raisins. No thanks. And I'm gone. And that's it for this episode. So next time we virtually head over to Bolivia as I play as Vladimir Fernandez. Until then, thank you.